Do you want to hear it? This 30-second ad from Priority Oregon shows a mother reading a scary story to her two young kids. It claims homeless people are everywhere, foster care children don't have enough to eat, and seniors are abused in nursing homes. But one line has sparked outrage across social media. You can sell drugs while running a daycare. That is scary. It sure is. So who created this ad? And can you really sell drugs out of a daycare? As for that first question, the political nonprofit group Priority Oregon is behind this ad and several others that have been critical of Governor Kate Brown. Because of Priority Oregon's tax designation, they don't have to reveal who their donors are or where their money comes from. There's these hard-hitting ads and people say, who's behind that? And the group says, we're telling everything the law requires us to tell you, which is, we're not going to tell you who's behind it. And there's a very good chance we'll never find out. Kate Brown's campaign has asked KGW and other stations to pull the ad. They've also asked Republican candidate for governor Newt Bueller to respond to it, even though the ad never mentions his name. Newt Bueller. I hope you are listening because this kind of smear campaign is not like you. I've considered you a friend and I hope you'll denounce what Priority Oregon is doing. What about the ads claim you can sell drugs in a daycare? Brown's campaign says it's clearly illegal to sell drugs out of a daycare and therefore this ad violates the law. But last year, KGW's news partners at The Oregonian reported on a Portland man who was running both a marijuana dispensary and a hands-off daycare facility thanks to a loophole in state law. Dr. Moore says the ad probably isn't going anywhere. Because if it's pulled, it sends a message that Kate Brown's right. In Oregon, TV stations are required to run all political ads that meet certain standards. So far, no station has pulled this bedtime story ad. Bottom line here for voters is that none of us should take political ads as gospel without doing some digging. Kyle Aboshi, KGW News. We spoke to the Bueller campaign. A spokeswoman said the campaign was not involved in this ad and has no control over what independent groups put out. As for Priority Oregon, a spokeswoman only said Democrats should spend less time worrying about an ad and instead focus on issues in the state.